Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Can you figure out this problem that Google used as an interview question? If the probability of seeing a car on the highway in 30 minutes is 0.95, what is the probability of seeing a car on the highway in 10 minutes? Assume a constant default probability. To be more precise, when the problem says seeing a car, that means seeing at least one car. The assumption of a constant default probability means there's a constant probability rate of seeing a car. For example, there's no rush hour traffic during one of the intervals. This means the probability of seeing a car during a time interval can be treated like a coin flip. Can you figure this out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. We'll get started by writing P as equaling the probability of seeing no cars in 10 minutes. What is the probability of seeing no cars in 20 minutes? This is the probability of seeing no cars in 10 minutes, followed by another event of seeing no cars in 10 minutes. We're treating each of these like a coin flip. So the probability of seeing no cars in each 10 minute interval is equal to P, which means the probability of seeing no cars in 20 minutes is equal to P squared. We then have the probability of seeing no cars in 30 minutes is equal to the probability of seeing no cars in the first 20 minutes times the probability of seeing no cars in the next 10 minutes, which is equal to P squared times P or equal to P cubed. So now, what is the probability of seeing some car in 30 minutes? This is one minus the probability of seeing no cars in 30 minutes. This will be equal to one minus P cubed. We're given in the problem this is equal to 0.95. We can then rearrange this equation to get that P cubed is equal to 0 0.05, which means P is equal to the cube root of 0 0.05, which is approximately 0.368. We now need to calculate the probability of seeing at least one car in 10 minutes. This is equal to one minus the probability of seeing no cars in 10 minutes, which is equal to one minus P, which is equal to approximately 0.632. So it's an approximately 63% chance that you'll see at least one car in 10 minutes. Did you figure this out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.